All right, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for three rounds of action in the junior lightweight division. This is Full Rules Muay Thai. Fighting out of the red corner tonight, he has an undefeated record of 4-0 from Las Piedras, Puerto Rico, Jose Braco Rodriguez. And fighting out of the blue corner tonight, he represents Kings Combat Sports with a record of 4-1 from Uzbekistan by way of Queens, Arthur Kirilov. Okay, you've both been given your rules. Give me a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Any questions? Touch gloves. Come on, fight. Our referee, Kevin Mulhall, delivers the instructions as we are set for action here on Friday Night Fights. Muay Thai scheduled for three rounds at the 155-pound level. Ariel Agami alongside Mr. Primo Bellarosa, the head coach at Vision Quest Muay Thai. And right here, Primo, a couple of Class B fighters going at it with some action early on. Yeah, Brago started out with a nice jab to start things out. Kirillov came in with a good knee. Rodriguez. Comes with the overhand right, and a straight right lands as well. Kirillov, nearly a two-year layoff. He's the one in the black trunk, so he has some ring rust to shake off here. Rodriguez, the aggressor so far in round one. Both have found a home with the leather. More active fighter seems to be Brago right now. Kirillov having a little trouble shaking off that rust. Rodriguez undefeated. He's wearing the camouflage trunks with the red lettering. 4-0 record, 25 years old, from Las Piedras, Puerto Rico. Arthur Kirilov takes a low blow there and brings a stop to the action momentarily. As you heard from Connor Hall, our ring announcer, calls New York home now, but originally from Uzbekistan. He's 4-1 at the Class B level, but again, has not fought since October of 2016 as he lands a thudding body kick there on Rodriguez. Real composed way of fighting out of Kirilov. Rodriguez trying to body up Kirilov up against the ropes. And it actually jarred the elbow pad loose. Yeah, the referee's going to want to fix that, or this could get ugly. There it is again. And that elbow exposed right now. That could put Rodriguez in some danger here as the final seconds tick away in round number one. So Kirilov down the stretch of that first round. Primo really seemed to get his footing and take control there down the latter half. Yeah, it took about a minute, minute and a half for Kirillov to get his feet back under him. You know what I mean? He's been out for a little while. But once he did that, that strong, solid Muay Thai stance, moving forward, waiting for his shots, really started to pay off for him. Kirillov fighting out of King's Combat Fitness in Rigo Park, Queens, New York. Trains under Dave Waymoy and Andrew Rivera. Doing a lot of good work as the 24-year-old here again has not been in the ring for two plus two, nearly two years. Last time he was in the squared circle, October of 2016, on this very promotion, Friday Night Fights, when he beat Juan Vitas by unanimous decision. That's a long layoff for Kirillov. Long layoff and coming back against Brago, who's been active in his last four fights. Rodriguez. Brago is nicknamed. Jose Rodriguez, 4-0, again, 25 years old, represents royalty combat in Puerto Rico. Underway in round number two. We are scheduled for three two-minute rounds here. Nice combination capped off with a leg kick by Kirilov. And again, it's Kirilov trying to set up that right elbow. A little reddening in the middle of the face of Rodriguez, who did stick a right hand in. It's a nice block right there by Kirillov. Brago tried to uh, throw an elbow of his own, and Kirillov blocked it and came in with his elbow. Body lock there, and then Rodriguez ends up dumping Kirillov down to the canvas. Full rules in effect here as Kirillov lands a leg kick, and Rodriguez counters with a punch combination. Yeah, that's the first time that Brago has checked a kick. Again, Rodriguez putting all his weight on Kirilov and pushing him down to the mat. 
seems to be able to get that 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 uh, underhooks and then kind of a backbreaker fairly easily on Kurilov. There it is again. Kevin Mohal says break it up. Nice teep by Rodriguez. And a right hand. Look at more of a glancing blow from Rodriguez. Kirilov counters with a teep. Body shot for Brago. His body shot's actually paid off a little bit right there. Now, once he gets into that into that full plum from Kirilov, that's where those body shots aren't going to do much. But when Brago basically puts his forehead on Kirilov's chest and lays in with those body shots, he was hitting pay dirt. Latter stages of round number two. Kirilov in the black trunks. Rodriguez in the camouflage. And he took a shot right there from Kirilov on the chin. Got Brago's attention here as time expires in round two. Kirilov almost a little too relaxed in that round. I'd like to see him pick up the pace a little bit. Brago might, might, be, might be winning the round just based on activity. So down the stretch we go. Again, third round of a Schedule 3 coming your way from the Broad Street Ballroom in New York City. This is the 2018 fall opener of Friday Night Fights Muay Thai, brought to you by Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino, as well as Lucky Strike. Ariel Agami alongside the legendary Primo Bellarosa, the head coach at Vision Quest Muay Thai in Westchester, New York. And none of your fighters on the card tonight. Primo, so we're excited. We have you for the entire telecast, which I'm, which I'm very pleased about. Yeah, Ariel, I, uh, I have the night off from coaching duties, so it's a it's a full night of commentating. Double duty. duty's tough. Uh, it's yeah. not, you don't deserve a double shift. That's not very nice. Yeah, it makes for a long night, but it also makes for an entertaining night. An entertaining first couple of rounds here so far between Arthur Kirilov and Jose Brago Rodriguez. And this one hanging in the balance here as we get ready for round number three. We're underway. Punch combination by Kirilov, countered with a couple of body shots from Rodriguez. And Moha warning Rodriguez about leaning on Kirilov with those knees. And there might be a little bit of a language barrier, Primo, but may not matter here as Rodriguez on the offensive lands a nice combo on Kirilov. I think Brago needs to, he, he needs to turn it up in this round. And he sensed that technique-wise, he's behind Kirilov. But intensity-wise, he's ahead of Kirilov. So if he just stays on the intensity, punches and bunches, he can pull this fight out. Three-punch body combo a moment ago from Rodriguez. Nicely done. And looks like Kirilov is feeling the effects. A little less sting on those knees and elbows as the two fight in close quarters. Yeah, he doesn't seem to be able to get to get the pop on him that he was in the end of the first and second round. Now, what was Kevin Mulhall warning Rodriguez about, do you think, Primo? I, I was think it, it was, uh, uh, it looked like uh, Brago threw a couple low knees that might have gone to the groin. Also, Mulhall was uh, telling them to break, and he was continuing to knee. So it could have been a combination of both that he was that he was giving him words about. Kirilov on his heels a bit, flat-footed as Rodriguez pounds away up top. Yeah, see a lot of those punches going off Kirilov's elbows and arms, but at the end of the day, to the judges, one guy's being very aggressive and throwing punches, the other guy's not doing anything. Slugfest down the stretch here of round number three. Final 10 seconds. Will it fall to the judges or could one of these young men close the show? Oh my god. That goodness. landed. A little rolling a, thunder. That was incredible. Like a crescent kick, but a somersault crescent kick. I've never even seen one of those on Friday Night Fights Primo. That was no, incredible. It might, might be a first time. Uh, a lot of people refer to that as like as a rolling thunder kick. Rolling thunder, wow. Yeah, and if you watch, it actually landed perfect. The, the idea is that your heel is going to come off to the side a little bit and land on the jawline, ear line. It landed right there on Kurilov. An unorthodox finishing move for Jose Brago Rodriguez, but it was certainly impressive. And I think of the three rounds, that was definitely the most one-sided. Yeah, absolutely. We'll leave it up to the judges here. Uh, great, great opening fight for Friday Night Fight. Tremendous action as we get the season started in style from Lower Manhattan. Rodriguez.
So Connor all has the scorecards in hand. Let's find out who wins this bout. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we do have a winner by way majority decision. Judge A sees this 28-29 in favor of the red corner. Judge B sees this 27-30 in favor of the red corner, which means Judge C seeing this 29-28 in favor of the blue corner makes this go to, from Puerto Rico, Jose Bracco Rodriguez. Well, Primo, Jose Rodriguez really closed the show in style there, especially that rolling thunder at the very end of the fight. Nothing but, uh, can't be anything but impressed with the performance of both men and Kirilov after such a long layoff. Pretty impressive six minutes of action. Excellent fight. Uh, you know, like I said, uh, Rodriguez just had more intensity, had, had more speed, his pace was faster, and, he, and, he, and it, that really was a deciding factor in the fight. Kirilov represented himself well, especially after a two-year layoff, uh, had great technique, uh, stood strong, uh, was there to fight. Unfortunately for him, he just wasn't quite active enough. So Jose Rodriguez improves to 5-0. You are watching Friday Night Fights.